Transcend subscription box by the brand Everive. It is kind of like Stitch Fix or Wantable. Today we're going to open it up, see what's inside, try it all on and review it. Let's see what is in Side. It always tells you who styled you. So Sandy was the one that styled me. It says, happy Transcend Day. I have featured some spring and summer trends in your box this month. Ooh, wide leg denim. Okay, let's just see what is in here. Everything's always just pretty. And I see a button. Oh, look at that. That is fun. They put a shirt inside of another shirt. All right, so this looks kind of pretty. So the first thing is this blue basic tee. And then they have paired that with a jacket with buttons. So let's try it on. This is the Casey V-neck tee by Z Supply. Oh my gosh, my cat is attacking the box. You need to go do something else. I think the tag said it was $48, which seems a little steep for a t-shirt, but I promise I'm not gonna complain about all the prices. They're just pricier items from Ever Eve, and I'm okay with that. But I did realize that they sent along some cropped jeans as well. These are the cropped Alexa jeans by Seven for All Mankind. I'm excited to try these. So I'm gonna try these on, and then I'm gonna put the whole outfit together. So this is outfit number one that they styled. I will take the Birkenstocks off, the Birkenstock dupes off. There's quite a few people that said that will ruin any outfit. <laughs> this jacket is an oversized jacket, and it does have that kind of utility fabric, but it's really loose and comfortable like super super soft and comfy I have been looking for some wide leg jeans so I don't know if this is quite the right ones I think the jeans are like $188 and the jacket $100 but the thing about Evereve is they always have sales and clearances so if you see something you like at the store or online you can just wait it out and get it on clearance this is the second time i've done this transcend and the first time kind of liked a few of the items i just looked on the website and there's a lot of it that is on sale now oh my gosh my cat is insane but anyway i think this is cute i really like the coat we'll see let's go on to outfit number two outfit number two says to do the tatum resort shirt and the cropped Alexa with cut hem. What is this? This is a gauze popover shirt. This looks resorty, doesn't it? I bet you this is it. Tatum Resort shirt. Okay, so it's it's like a blousey thing, so let's try it. Okay, this is the Tatum Resort shirt with the jeans. This whole thing is super comfortable. Oopsies, I forgot a button. I really like the material of this fabric. It's like a knit, but it's really loose and kind of flowy. I'm not really a fan of sleeves that make this shape around my arms. I don't. I just don't think it's a flattering look to make that triangle. There's my daughter's backpack right on the floor where it's supposed to be. If this was just for comfort, I would say it's amazing, but I don't, I don't, I just don't love the whole look of this together. So let's go to outfit number three. Outfit number three is the Catherine straight crop. Looks like a pair of white jeans, the gauze popover top and the golden hour tee. Okay. Those are some new things. Oh, you know what? I think this is, yeah, this is the golden hour tee with the popover top and a pair of white jeans. So let's try it. So I just swapped out the pants and I think that this style of jeans or pants looks better with a blousey top. And I actually really like this together. I'm gonna call this outfit number three and then we're gonna move on to outfit number four. I just made this up, but I'm sure that they like, I didn't actually make this up. They, they styled this for me. Okay, here's something fun. So I put this tee on and then the popover top on top and I'm thinking, what are they thinking? I, this was something I would never, I I wouldn't even, I would be surprised. Well, then I actually read it and she said to put the T with the pants and then she also likes this with the pants. So we're gonna go ahead and take this second layer off that makes zero sense. And she said, do a front tuck and I just love a front tuck. So here we go. So this is the next outfit, the pants with the golden hour top. These pants are from Cut From The Cloth and they are so wonderfully soft and stretchy that I love them. The shirt is so cropped that I don't know that I would actually front tuck it. There's like, in order to front tuck this, you put like a half inch in there and that's the front tuck. The shirt is super soft. I think Sandy did a good job with this one. So now let's try it with the pink. All right, well, I'll tell you this. Definitely way better without that t-shirt on underneath. I don't know if you're supposed to front tuck this. Maybe, probably, I think so. The shirt is a gauzy fabric. It is super flowy and soft. I feel like it would be perfect for summer or for hot climates or Minnesota. I mean, it gets hot here. I think this is a cute outfit too. I think she did a really good job. You can see the, the whole thing. And I will have you know that she said, give this a front tuck and pair with a flat sandal or Birkenstock. So I am gonna put my Birkenstocks back on because that's what Sandy said. And Sandy knows what she's doing because she works at Evereve. There, I think it's cute. I actually really like it, so 
There you go. Outfit number four says it's an easy, effortless staple with a sporty, chic feel. It's a rugby shirt dress. So let's try that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a rugby style top with a long sleeve and it's a short length. So I will try it, but this does not look like something that I would want to wear. Okay, Sandy, I will eat my words. I don't know where I would wear this, but it's really, really comfortable. It just is a super soft knit and I think it's really a cute dress. I put it on with my Birkenstock dupes that everybody loves. See if I can ruin the outfit. So again, I'm not really sure where I would wear this, but I think it's actually a cute dress and it's really, really comfortable. So Sandy did a good job. Sandy's getting me out of my comfort zone and I appreciate that about you, Sandy. I might actually see if there's a way to show this video to Sandy because she did a good job. I feel like if I was someone that was styling a box for someone else, I would just love to see their YouTube channel review of it. There's about a million subscription boxes available in the internet. So I plan on doing some more uh, reviews of those. So if that sounds fun to you, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos. If you want to see the video where I reviewed the first subscription box, I will link it right here. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Sandy, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.